back here at North Charleston Honda, mm -hmm. Hyundai, right? Hyundai of North Charleston. These guys were so awesome. I met them the other night and they invited me out to come and take a look at this incredible mm -hmm. car. And so I have Patrick here from North Charleston Honda here in South Carolina. And I understand that how many of these cars are made? Made 500. 500. Very limited. Limited. Mm -hmm. And uh, I hear that there's only a couple of them in the state of South Carolina. So in the state of South Carolina, there's estimated to be about seven to 10 of them. We mm -hmm. actually already sold one of these from right. the other night just being at the premiere. So there's that's one less in the state already already so was, <laughs> you, you actually from the premiere the other night from you got the premiere to... someone came out of the movie and then came up the next morning and bought it so oh <laughs> it was real quick well well we're, we're not gonna talk too much about the movie because yeah. of spoilers but i could understand why they bought it after the movie sure. by the way so as far as the car is concerned mm -hmm. um i know a lot of people are wondering how much did this this car cost how much is it so being a limited edition it is 33 grand which uh, the consensus kind of comment we got every time is like wow that's it that's usually it. you see these limited edition cars especially branded by officially by marvel and it's a lot more than that right. so being 33 it's and that's before rebates that are available so actually it's a little less than that that's pretty awesome yeah man. that is pretty freaking awesome now a little history for me i actually saw this car a year ago in san diego comic con did you yeah i oh. think they had this car on the show floor okay. and it wasn't out to buy i don't think yet. no it was when I, they first announced I think it, was, it so do you know anything about how they teamed up to do this to uh, any of the background to how this came to even be well, Hyundai and Marvel, we've actually had a partnership for a few years now. If you go back a few of the, I know, big time Marvel TV shows, you'll see some of the Hyundais and definitely the Genesis in there. Oh, wow, as a sponsor. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. You know, in the background. Yeah. And then the first kind of big out breakout we saw of a Hyundai in a, it was Ant-Man and the Wasp. Right. With oh, the purple Veloster yes, and the flames. Yes, yes, that was our, yes. That was our brand new 2019 redesigned Veloster, and they put it big up in front in the new movie and then this is actually our just official first vehicle we've made with them so it's been a long partnership that's kind of grown and grown and grown and now we're here at the culmination of an actual vehicle that is freaking amazing yeah so what we're gonna do guys now is that patrick and i are gonna get in because you guys know i'm not a real car car guy <laughs> but this is just too cool to pass up yeah. so patrick's gonna get in on the driver's side i'm gonna get on the patrick's passenger side and he's gonna show me some of the cool tech that's in this car so stand by guys now, before we get into the car and take a look at all the tech inside, let's just take a look around the car. So as you can see right on the hood here, we have this Marvel logo that looks pretty amazing. And then as you go down to the rims, you see these rims that are 18 inch, I think, alloy rims with the Iron Man logo right there on the rims. I think this looks so freaking amazing uh, at the uh, show the other day. And as we go around, you can see that there's still the red and gray trim all around with the lights that are running alongside of the bottom of the door. Here you still have the tires, the rims that I still think just look um, just absolutely fantastic. As you see along the side of the car, just how slick and how cool it looks there. And as we go around the back of the uh, car here, you can see, of course, the logo Kona, but you see what I think is really cool right at where you open the door, you have the Iron Man logo, and then another shout out to North Charleston Hyundai um, and here in Charleston. But taking a step back, you can see all around the car still, look, it looks really awesome. Pretty slick looking vehicle. And like I said, I saw this car last year at San Diego Comic Con and uh, didn't think much of it. In fact, what I thought was this is one of those cars that nobody could actually own that I would ever know. But when they mentioned the price being $33,000, I thought that was pretty epic. And check this out. You have the Iron Man logo. That's on both sides of the car, too, and it looks freaking awesome. Um, like I said, I didn't think that I would be able to afford a car like that. I figured this thing would be 60000 because it's such a limited edition, but apparently not. The difference between this and what I saw there is, though, on top of the roof, there was an entire logo of Iron Man on the car that I saw. But on here, there is no logo on the top of that car. And here in the front of the car... It's daylight out here, so you can't really tell. But in the front of the car, if it were dark, you'd be able to see that the headlights kind of mimic the uh, Iron Man mask. So that's this pretty cool car. So let's jump in and see what's inside. So, uh, guys, we're in the car right now, and I've got Patrick here. What's up, Patrick? Hi, man. <laughs> and uh, he's going to walk through some of the really cool tech. But before you say that, uh, one of the things that I noticed was, like, I speculated that this paint scheme was the Mark 42. Is that, do you know if that's the case or? I haven't heard officially where they got it, but 
resemblance. That's kind of what I figured as well. Right. Uh, obviously, you know a lot of Marvel stuff, and that's what we gathered. They didn't officially say where they got the exact paint scheme. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So what we got here, man, I heard when I was at the movie theater, the sound system just sounded amazing. It does. So it has an Infinity Audio system, which is our premier sound system we use in a lot of our Hyundais and even our Genesis vehicles. It has uh, several speakers all the way from the front, including several woofers through the back. Uh, it is a very premium system. We were actually playing it at the, the premiere, and we had the end game um, soundtrack going, and it was booming across the whole front. And people came, were coming by, I thought we had maybe speakers set up, but no, it's the vehicle itself. It's right up there with the Bose audio systems, the Lexicons. Uh, Infinity has built a name for itself, not only in household, but now in the vehicles here with Hyundai. Absolutely, man. Mm -hmm. So, I remember the other night there were some themes and things going on here. Is that something you can show me? Sure. So, the, the screen itself is pretty traditional for the Hyundais, but they've definitely done a different color scheme. Made it look a little more mechanical, a little more um, Iron Man-esque as you're going through. So, a little red, the little bit of line work just makes it a little more finished, a little nicer. Of course, touchscreen. Everything about it looks, in my opinion, much cleaner and definitely that, you know, like again, that robotic, Turn that Bluetooth so Bluetooth connection. To search. And then it's got the phone connectivity, so as you're plugged in, I'll actually kind of show you that. Everyone has smartphones, so you plug it right in, and what it's going to give you is access to have pretty much all your phone capabilities here to even say... Oh, is this Apple Pay? Yeah. I mean Apple Pay. Yeah, yeah Apple Pay. <laughs> is this Apple Pay? Yeah, yeah. Apple CarPlay and the, yeah. and the Android Auto, so it gets that intuitive to where you can command your whole vehicle with your voice. You can say, hey Siri, and your car will immediately, you know, pick up for you once it recognizes your voice. Um, and once it goes up, so like there, and you can tell it to go somewhere, navigate. So you have the full screen navigation and you can tell it to text someone, call someone, play your music, mm -hmm. and it will fully go through it, all commanded with your voice. No buttons needed, hands right on the wheel. That's really cool. That's actually. pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah, I just noticed there's the trim around the start button. Yeah. Well, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, and I noticed that there was a Tony Stark signature yes. right here. That's, <laughs> so that's like the final awesome. little cool touch on there. Yeah. You get Tony Stark's official signature. Yeah. Um, that's you know is famous the old famous building. that's pretty awesome it is now what about the uh because i saw i don't see it now i don't see mm -hmm. where it is that was the like heads a, up display yeah the, the, sure yeah so is that standard on on the iron man one it is and it's on the if you go the non-iron man version it's on the ultimate but it's really cool so simple touch of a button it's um and it definitely it's very intuitive like the iron man kind of suit so as it's sitting there you can actually see let me see if we can get it yep so you can see the digital format of your speedometer your speed and of course on that screen as well you're going to be able to have your navigation straight ahead on for it your uh, music uh, your automatic braking control so it's actually a really neat vehicle uh, feature that's again another thing so you can keep your eyes on the road and resembles kind of Tony Stark's interface where he just has to focus straight ahead yeah I saw when you started it up I saw Tony or Iron Man come on sure let me try to get way. that going for you again so let me shut that off do that and then this and then yeah, wow, mass yeah. flickering. Yeah. Oh, wow. Even over here. <laughs> yep. That's pretty awesome. So man. every time you start it up, you'll out. see it there. Yeah, that's um, pretty awesome. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, man. This is a pretty sweet ride, man. Mm -hmm. So are there any, you know, like for those people who are like really in the cars, want to uh -huh. know anything about the engine and all of that, is there any special thing that you can tell me about what's under the hood? Yeah, so the Kona itself, especially with this Ironman edition, is a 1.6 turbocharged engine. So it's not going to be the sluggish. You're not getting this cool car in a sluggish engine. You're going to get this very responsive, um, very good acceleration out of this engine. It produces 201 horsepower, and it's um, backed by a lifetime warranty, too. So any kind of thing you might be afraid of a turbo engine, you're protected for life. So it's a really cool drivetrain we have included in this vehicle. That's pretty awesome. Well, Patrick, I have to say thank you again of course. for um, letting me come out and take a look at this really cool car. And... All my friends are really the peer pressure. <laughs> yeah, like, hey, you gotta get that. You gotta car, get right? it. Yeah. So it's uh, the last one now. We already sold the other. So. I know, man. So uh, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I gotcha. So anyway, thank you again, man, and uh, I appreciate it. Guys. And if you want to stay on top of the latest in the world of collecting, please head over to mcecentral.com. That's Marvel's Collectible and Entertainments, where you can find some of the latest reviews and unboxings of some of your favorite pop culture characters, as well as some really cool interviews and shows like that gig show and what's popping by Seth. So until next time.
keep it marvelous. <laughs>